The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. Yes, it is Basil Chapman, even though the voice sounds an octave lower. Um, we're looking at the Dow on this Monday, the 8th of April. Dow down four. It was up uh, 100 and something actually earlier. It's at 38,895. I'm anticipating, I said to subscribers to my opening call, that by Wednesday, we'll have a better directional aspect. Why? Because look at this. The, let me go to this chart. This is most appropriate right now. Here's the Dow chart. No, this is the QQQ. Well, just, that's what came up. So you see the nine period moving average slipped negative for the very first time since it did that for one day or two days back in March. So you've gone from green to pink. Look at the Dow, INDU. Green to pink. This is now the third session pink. Well, the day's young. Two sessions up until now. Um, look at the RTY, which is the Russell 2000 futures. It's done that a couple of times. It's been rather weak. And today it went pink. Days young. Could change by the end of the day. The IWM, that's the cash, has not yet turned pink. Interesting, right? Uh, let's go. <laughs> I've got the, I keep getting this little, the little hiccup right at the end of each sentence. Uh, we've got the SMH is now only up 18 at 204.62. These are all clues to me to say that, and I'll talk about it in a moment, the uh, spike down on Thursday with a very nice pop to the upside on Friday. I have to talk about whether or not that's it's, it's just a, a, a one-time thing, just a one-off, one big move that would have taken maybe three sessions or four sessions, and we're done now with the downside, at least for the moment. We have to talk about that. Uh, SMH is still holding green. It hasn't turned down to uh, to pink. Up 55 cents at 223.19. But this, to me, is a really big deal. Well, first of all, let's go to gold. Uh, gold is a little doji candle as we speak, down five. It was actually down 19 soon after the open, the futures last night. Wow, then it shot back up, and then it went even higher. It went all the way to 2,372.5, and now it's at 2,340. Uh, I mean, this is still fantastic action. And look at the way that the on the right here, you've got this is the gray thick line, is the current price uh, daily chart of the uh, gold contract, the futures. Here's the nine period moving average at support of 2,285. Uh, yeah, 85. And then 2,262 is the 14 period exponential moving average. So those are all key support levels. So, so far, gold is really spectacular. Let's look let's at silver. Silver is down just a fraction, down 13 cents at 27.37. It hit $28 today, went to 28.19. <clears throat> now it's pulling back a little bit of a digestive phase. None of these candles, the little doji candles, have meant anything. So far, it's just been it's a continuation pattern to the upside. I got a feeling that we're looking at this just starting to have a little bit of a rest over the next few days. We're looking at uh, go to copper, high grade copper, nine period moving average, still very, very strong. Actually, let's look at these in the real charts. These are charts that show the daily, weekly, and monthly. There we go. So that's the Dow. Look at that nine period moving average in the daily cross negative. You wait, I, I can get rid of this. This is now, it, it served its purpose. I don't like to have messy charts, so let's get rid of that. So that repellent zone was perfect for the for the sell signal to sell mode. Dow struggling over here. The uh, weekly chart still making that peak C and holding very nicely. Monthly chart leg C, it's got all month to get to 39,890, and that'll extend leg C, but we haven't done that yet. Let's look at the S&P with the three charts because the beginning of the week, um, a nice huge red candle, but then a nice green candle on Friday. Now we've gone above the close of Friday. The nine period moving average I showed you just now the nine is still holding well. 
The weekly charts are all fabulous. Even the Dow chart is still fabulous. So that just says higher highs to come in 2024, maybe into the summer. But at this particular point, there's a little bit of a digestive phase going on. <clears throat> More importantly, we will look at the IWM because we've got a mix there between the nine period moving average in the futures turning down, just beginning to turn down, and went pink, but not the IWM itself at 204.81, up 35 cents. Most importantly, the IWM has already reached a peak E in the Chavamay methodology, and that just says at this from this particular point, you've got to be careful of a vulnerable a weekly chart, even though the technicals are still very strong. But that, that vulnerability only gets, uh, it pertains to the daily chart, which is starting to make lower highs and lower lows. So we'll just be watching that very closely. As I say, by Wednesday's close, we will know more about those 914s. Let's go to, uh, let me, I'll go to gold because I haven't shown you the three daily, weekly, monthly. So the daily has got a leg D, the weekly has got a leg D, the monthly has only got a leg B. And that's really bullish for, the, for gold looking out in 2024. And it says this whole area between 2250 and I would even say 2190 is going to be key support over the next three or four weeks. Because I, I don't really want to go into other areas of why I'm thinking gold is moving like it is. But it's also to do with the commodity. Look, I spoke about this for a long time. Uh, we have the DBA um, from the 13s back in uh, just soon after the low that was made in June of 2020 at 13.25. It's just holding, look, it's gone to, it's just a leg F in the daily chart, a new all-time high, a leg C in the weekly chart. This is the DB Agricultural Fund. Now, a lot of this has to do with the strength that we saw in the cocoa. So look at this, cocoa, CC. Ah, CC, senor. It's a new all-time high. It pulled back for a moment, and now it's gone to an all-time high. Well, that puts me into the category of saying, well, then what's the BTC doing? That's the, uh, they kind of all go together for some reason. Uh, BTC is the Bitcoin. And what are we looking at? We're looking at a really good rebound of 4,470 at 72,225. I just need to check because this gets smoothed out every day. It's the continuous contract. What's that high? 75,185, 75,185. Yep, that's it. So it's trying to make the cup formation to retest that. There was a GCSC. There's a good chance that it's going to go to 75,186 or higher. But I also have to look at this doji candle in, at peak F in the Bitcoin weekly chart. But it's only a leg C in the monthly, and that says it still go, should go to higher, high, higher highs in 2024. Let's go to high-grade copper. High-grade copper is actually doing was doing very nicely. Where is it right now? Long-legged doji candle made a higher four. 0.30. There's a continuous contract. Um, it's trading right now at 4.239, up 0 0.003. Uh, the target here is the left side high, and the left side high is uh, the high of the week of the 14th of. I'm saying the week of the 14th of April, a year ago. Oh, exactly a year ago, uh, 2023. That was at 4.323. But because it's a continuous contract, I'm giving you the week that it was the high because that high number could change when it gets smoothed out. So we're almost there. Uh, still a very good sign. And that, that's actually a good economic sign, really. Okay, I'll be back in a moment to question about MUX as we go to the break. MUX is uh, McEwen Mining. Uh, making a little bit of a double top here, uh, but it's holding really well at 10.9. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So I just wanted to show you the uh, uh, one-minute, five-minute, and ten-minute E-minis. This is the uh, June contract. Peak F in the five-minute chart, pull back sharply to the 200-period moving average, which has been testing quite a bit uh, over the last uh, few hours. <clears throat> tested it once in the 10 minute chart and look here's the four, the uh, one minute chart and it's got this rectangle that says this particular 200 period moving average which was support is now very strong resistance we're testing it right now if there is a move in the next uh, 20 minutes or so above 5260 i'd say 5261 but 5260 is fine that's good if there's a pullback below 52 i, I would have to say 5245 that says you know the market's now in a struggle move, mood for most of the day, rest of the day. All right, let's get back to our story. <clears throat> uh, we were looking at the uh, um, uh, McEwen mining. I just had a question about that over the weekend. Uh, yeah, it's done very well. It's a single leg A to the upside in the weekly chart. Uh, it's gone to a leg C for the very first time in absolute in a year almost uh, to the upside in the monthly chart. Like C, uh, it was down the, in the two uh, two eighty to $3 area uh, back in June or so, July of last year. And here it is up uh, in the tens. That's very nice. And it's walking the nine period moving average. Yeah, it's very good action. And it says key support will be between 10.05 and 9.80 just on a one week basis. That, if it pulls back, that is. All right. So a question came in here about. Oh, where did I write it down? Uh, yeah, what, what about, Basil, what about your um, the key stocks that you always look at? So let's just do this. So is this a, is this a daily? Yes. So let's look at Sintas. Sintas, Sintas says it made a peak at 704.84 um, a couple of weeks ago. It pulled back quite sharply. And now it's at uh, 675. Oops, uh, 
Yeah, 675 made a high of 704. Uh, big digestive phase. Same thing in the weekly chart. And a leg E. Uh, this, uh, I have to consider that this is really an instant restart right here. And that this is a continuation, a huge leg E slash A in the monthly chart. I'm not doing anything about that right now because I have to do daily and weekly. I think there's a digestive phase going on. That's really important. This is syntax, overalls, uniforms, rentals. I mean, this is, let's go to rentals. Let's go to URI. This is another one that I look at because the two go together. Uh, made a high of 732.7 back in March. Pulls back, makes a cup formation, retests it with a 727 round number high underneath the previous uh, all time high. So, this is an G slash C in the weekly chart, leg D in the monthly chart, holding very well, but starting a digestive phase. I got to make an emphasis there that so far it looks like it's just consolidating after a very big move up. Waste management. This is the, you know, waste management, uh, nothing stops waste. Um, and it made an all-time high of 214.24. Uh, I didn't put a date, but that was the beginning of April. Uh, let me if I can get the mouse to move across. There it is. Uh, 214.74, and I believe that might have been April the 1st. No, it was the 28th of March. So let me just put that in because now I can put it in red because it's gone to a cell signal by the end of the day that might be a cell mode, and that's going to be very important. Why? Mm -hmm. Because... This is this kind of defies everything. I mean, no matter what happens, the uh, huge companies as well as cities. Uh, I know here Newton Mass. We have uh, right here. We have uh, waste management. So I, it, it doesn't stop. It just keeps going, right? Well, now it's pulling back a little bit, digesting huge gains. Peak D in the daily, peak D in the weekly, and only a leg C in the monthly. So that looking out is very positive. Looking at, <coughs> excuse me. Something like a G. I like to add G because it's really, it's in so many areas that are really important. Here it is, made an all-time high today of 157.95. It just, it's a spectacular stock. It's just talking about rejuvenation. Now, it's also done spin-offs and all sorts of things. That's why the letters are all over the show here. Another spin-off. Oh, they've got, is this the aircraft engine they finally spun off? Because they did uh, GEHC, which is the healthcare. And that's trading down a little bit. Uh, made an all-time high uh, a couple of weeks ago in the 94 area. And now it's trading at 80, 88. It's not a big deal, but it's digesting gain. So, gee, so you can see. Oops, I need to take something to drink. <clears throat> yeah, I had kind of a, a, a little bit of a cold, but, uh, I, you know, I... All I can say is that I didn't feel 100% over the weekend, but, uh, you know, I still did everything I needed to do. 93, 96, 93, 94, then that's what we wanted to see. So that is uh, F slash C. We're looking at uh, GE Healthcare, F slash C, uppercase on the way up. And that goes to a D and an E. Okay, so then this pulling back. Yeah, so that's what, that's, what, that's what it's doing. Now, a couple of things I want to look at when I'm looking at the overall picture. And I just add these like a Sintas, a URI, which is a United Rentals. I also add some others. But I like to look at, say, the XLF, which is the financial sector. The XLF is really important as a benchmark together with the KRE. <coughs> KRE, so this is what I wanted to show you. XLF, financials up a little bit today, up uh, 12 cents at 41.69. Made, uh, 41.70 was the high, all-time high in January of 2022. This last high was, I believe, 42.20, oh, there it is, 42.22, yep. So it's now in all-time high territory, even though it's pulling back a bit. And I've got the weekly chart with that instant restart as a G slash C. It should still go higher. And in leg B in the monthly chart, it should go quite a bit higher. But I was asked about this, and I've spent some time on, on the KRE, which is the uh, S&P Regional Banking ETF. Um, this, is, this is something that is really important because 
I want to see the financial, the S&P, the, the big one, this is the money center banks. I don't want to see them by themselves leading the market higher. I want to see the regionals start to move. And it's very important because within the regionals, you, this is really the mom and pop stores. Yeah, not mom and pop. You still got some very big financials there. And what you really want to see is, let me just get rid of this, yeah, remove trend line. What you want to see is that the regionals, which are really your, your local bank, I mean, it's really important that they, they, they can't be stuck like this. Look at this. They're not breaking down the KRU S&P Regional Banking ETF, but it's just stuck on this 200-period moving average of 47.93. It's just a little bit higher, 48.69. I, As far as I'm concerned, this is something very important to keep your eye on because when this finally starts to break to the upside, and I think it will, although it's a real tough thing to talk about when you've got the TLT, oh, which is now uh, up three cents at 91.42. Oh, that's not bad. Let me just check the uh, bonds. U.S. Oh, still down a half a point at 117 and 430 seconds. I need to see how the bank sector itself responds to the higher yields. So let's just look at the TNX as we close out for the break, and we'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com.
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. So I just done this little work, a little jump and wave patterns and things like that. And that just says that if the uh, TNX, which is the right here, this is the uh, 10 year Treasury note interest rate. Let me just get this right here. Yeah. If it breaks above the high of a few days ago, which is at 44.29. Then the trajectory says that this is the Chemwick inside wedge repellent zone, a repellent line, I'm sorry, and it should take you towards the high that was made right here the week uh, no, on the 15th of November of 4359. So that's what I'd be looking at on the upside. But you can't just do that. You have to be looking at other patterns as well. And the other pattern says the 9 pin moving average is positive. The MACD is positive. Stochastic is kind of weakish at 72%. Um, therefore, you've got to be looking at what's the support level. What happens if rates suddenly uh, decline? And that just says that the whole area of this base right here of the 1st of April and 42.34, a close under 42. Another drink of tea. A close of this 42 area, the 42, what did I say to us? 42, uh, did I get to 42? No, I didn't. Yeah, a close below 40, 42.90 says that uh, rates could actually start to come down and you're just stuck back in the, in the range. So back in the range means that uh, whatever the market is perceiving right now, it shouldn't actually interfere because it hasn't interfered with the market up move at, at all at this particular point. I think it will if there's a push higher, but I would include that it needs to see crude oil, which is down a uh, dollar today at 85.89, um, really touching 90. If, if the two together, if the rates go higher and crude oil touches 90, I think that's going to impact the market. But in the meantime, so now this is what I wanted to talk about. Let's go back to the chart right here. So I've done everything. I haven't skipped. No, I haven't skipped anything. Okay, therefore I can do this. So first of all, I want to go to the VIX index. The VIX index is trading down 49 cents at 15.54. For the VIX to be, uh, so <laughs> this little hiccup there. For the VIX to be uh, moving up so sharply last week and the general market seeing just the Dow and the QQQ, the 9 period moving averages turn pink, tells you that there's a rotation going on with some weakness, but it isn't reflected in the overall market. So now let me go to this right now. You've got the Dow, which is up 85, uh, so it's up 0.21%. This is not a very good looking chart at all. It says you could be trapped. This could have been. You see, for the S&P that Thursday declined, look how we are back into the Chad Wave inside track propellant zone, whereas with the Dow, we not only went below it, we went sharply below it. But wait a minute, the QQQ, even though the nine period moving average uh, deflected lower, Right now, it's up $1.64. So I, I'm looking at this, and for subscribers, I was quite prepared today to actually, we didn't do it, but I was quite prepared to add actually long positions because there are, in this mixed market, there are areas that are doing pretty darn well. I mean, just look at this, PAVE, which is the uh, infrastructure. This is the Global X U.S. Infrastructure and Development ETF. Almost at an all-time high as we speak, 39.74 of two cents. All-time high was 48 round number three days ago. Is that correct? 48 round number three days ago. Uh, all I can say is that 
you've got to be very selective here. And one of the reasons why we only have the one short at this particular time, and that's the Dow, which is still working quite nicely, um, is that the speed with which each individual area that looks like, for that moment, that it looks like it's about to turn down, the way it just flips to the upside, speaks to buying intensity. And that buying intensity is nothing that I want to be in the way of. So we kept all our long positions. What well, we didn't, we, one of them I got out of. I, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, gee, that was silly. I shouldn't have raised the stop. We would have still been in it. It's in, it's in a process of building what's called the Chapman Wave restart. We'll see what happens here. Um, so the question then came in uh, a moment ago about ETHE. So I want to put these together. This is, and this is the same thing that you can see. Look, Ethereum is down uh, at the 25 level when it was up in the 35s just a, a month ago. And that's what I'm talking about. The rotation through the different sectors, the rotation even within sectors where some stocks are just looking absolutely fantastic and others, and you don't believe it's the same sector. Oh, let me just do this. I think Caterpillar, uh, ca so, uh, sorry, I, I got deflected there. My thoughts just changed for a split second. <laughs> Nothing unusual there. So Caterpillar is up at an all-time high as we speak, and I just need to check. I think that was a peak. So that's three, 381.03 on Thursday. 03, right? Uh, is it an eight? No, it's an 03. And a 381 round number high on Friday. Unbelievable how many round numbers there are. And today we went to a new high. So I, it looks to me like I could call it a G, but there's almost like an instant restart. Yes, so just for the, for the moment, I'm going to call this a G slash C. That's the daily chart, all time high. Weekly chart, leg D, all time high. Monthly chart, a caterpillar is trading at 378.25 down dollar oh five, and it's in a leg F. There's a really good chance that I have to relabel these because these are still very strong. So that's caterpillar. And let's look at deer. Not at all time high. See, this is what I'm saying that the, the different stocks, even within the sector. So deer's tractors, farm equipment. So this is more basically farm caterpillars, uh, farm as well as. Uh, well, you know, the uh, infrastructure itself. So, and the deer is closely related to the um, commodity area. So, deer is trading at 414.80 was the high today. It's at 411.98, down 33 cents. And here again, G, uh, it really looks like it should be a G slash C. I'm just going to do the G slash C. I want to be prepared. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this nicely over the nine. The nine's over the 14. MACD's good. Stochastic's at 84%. So I'm just being prepared here. And only a leg, <laughs> I can't believe it, a new leg A in the in the weekly chart, all right? And the stochastic is at 89%. This is the really, this A is, oh, 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 sorry, it's a mistake. That was a peak P. So that's an A minus, an A, 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 A. That is an A right there. So then it becomes A. Remember, from this is your starting point. Every peak gets counted. Oh, this is Lexi. Brand new Lexi. I'll be right back. I'll explain to you when I get back. Uh, Dial's up. 86. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model? 
when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities. Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, right, so as I was saying, so Caterpillar all-time highs. Uh, GIA is doing very well, but it's not even close to all-time highs. You saw the same thing with yes, GBTC almost at all-time highs, and uh, that's the Bitcoin Investment Trust. And you've got Ethereum not doing the same thing at all. So this one's tougher. I would say that the technicals are still in the weekly chart quite good and the monthly chart is still good. But their daily charts had a tremendous pullback from the 35s down to the 23s. Trading right now 25. And it needs to hold this. this it, it's up $1.94, but it needs to hold that because uh, the pattern itself speaks to a great deal of weakness and that weakness will exacerbate if the GBTC actually within the next day or two actually turns down, starts to digest those big gains, then I don't know whether you'll see a rotation saying, oh, now the laggard will catch up or they both go down. But I'll tell you right now that if Ethereum starts to trade at uh, under 2250, <coughs> excuse me, it's at 2520 right now. But it does move very quickly. And if it keeps making lower lows and lower highs, uh, that's going to start to impact the weekly. But so far, the weekly technicals are actually quite pretty good, just based on the 914, not on the stochastic, which is down 45% in the weekly, and the MACD's cross negative. So just be a little careful. You want to see um, the 20, today's high is 2604. You want to see a close near 2590. In the next day or two, and here it is at 25.20, struggling a little bit. Okay, question came in. Where did I see it? Uh, NVIDIA. Oh, no, first of all, I've got GDX. GDX, leg D today. Uh, 34.27 was the highest trading in 33.59. Uh, once once again, I just if looking at all of these to say that there should be some kind of a pullback, this is the first time that I can say, uh, just a minute, that... So many are now in the leg D of the of this particular sector. So you've got silver, leg E in the daily chart, leg D in the weekly chart. You've got gold, leg D in the daily, leg D in the weekly. So you've got GDX, leg D, and this is the D is where in the Chapman Wave methodology, D is where other things can happen. You just have to be prepared. And of course, there's tremendous support in the previous high in the 32s. So uh, I, I anticipate if there is a pullback, it'll it'll give you a whole set of signs to say, for instance, when it was down $19 soon after the open last night, I said to myself, okay, this is going to be the big test because 19 is nothing. It, it does that these days. It didn't do it before, but these days it can do that in the blink of an eye. 
So, and then go right back and close 38 points higher. So all you can do is say, where, does it, where is it going to be? And at this particular point, uh, after that sharp pullback, and they're making a new all-time high, <clears throat> it's right where it began, 2003-44. So, and if you look at the different uh, stocks, let's just go to uh, GOLD, this is uh, Barrick, right, the 200-period moving average, <clears throat> in leg D, uh, in the weekly chart, the 200-period moving average, leg D in the daily, only a leg B in the weekly chart. So you can go through, I went through a number of the gold stocks. I'd love to see a pullback because, <clears throat> and I'm once again, I don't want to go through the whole thing. Well, I think that the uh, uh, the gold is moving like this, did move and has held the gains. But I also think it is a commodity-related thing. So within that aspect, that's the reason why I went to the DBA. And let's go to the DBC, which is the DBA, uh, DBA Agricultural Fund, where the DBC has more of the other commodities. Oops, where did it go to? Come back. Okay, there it is. So trading uh, down eight cents at twenty three sixty seven. It has more of the oil. Uh, I've got this as I can give it an alternate count, but I'll call it an F for now in the daily chart. So you could see a bit of a pullback. Uh, it's the one that I said to subscribers back when it was in the twenty two area. I said this this could move very nicely, but we do have the DBA, although they're in different sectors of commodities. One is the side of the grains, more the grains, but it also has cocoa, which has been a big help. And so I'm watching the show and discussion on the ETH and wondering what that fund actually has. As Ethereum is at 3628.22 3, in my account on RH. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure what the question is there, but I mean, just as a quick question, uh, as a quick response to that, let me just go back. I want to look at coin. They're all doing the coin. is more coin base, yeah. Off the uh, off the most recent highs, uh, but up at 9.48 at 250.34. Just kind of stalling out here a little bit. Ethereum is different. I don't, know, I, I don't know what the mix is, but it's not actually anywhere close as well as the others. But it's not bad for the day. And this actually turns out to be a leg B. So if this can be a, a, a stock that's playing catch-up, as I said before, what you really want is it mustn't close on in the 23s. Right now, it really needs quickly to be moving to the, it's a 25.36 up 2.06. <clears throat> Not a sip of tea. Okay. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, yeah, it's actually up very nicely today, up to at 25.31. But it needs very much and very quickly <coughs> to tackle all those left side resistance levels going up into the 27s. So that's that's the challenge. And I will draw this in because it does have this characteristic right now. Um, just on the short term, I'll take it only from there. And I'll show you there's a cup formation. And the cup formation says... That by Thursday of this week, it's a Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday of this week, it should it should try for the twenty six ninety one area. Okay, uh, that's what I'm looking at. That means it doesn't got much room on the downside as a safety net. Uh, question: What was that, Robin Hood? Let me just look at Robin Hood. Robin Hood is consolidating the huge gains. I mean, going from the eights uh, back in October, November of this past year. Up into the 20s, that's a really good action. Of course, once upon a time, it hit an 85 round number high. Um, let's just see. To, so, I, I think there's a consolidation. I would love to see it down at the 1620 to the 1580 level and then sit, sort of make decisions because it's something we've followed for ages. I wanted to get in, one day we didn't get in. And now it's just look, the nine is still way above the 14. I, it might not. It's holding very well. I, a question came in. Where did I see it? Oh, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA trading just a, a down a point, 879. It's starting to struggle. When you consider that the 974 round number high, I, you know, I can't keep going into those round numbers, but I do need to have a sip. If I'm going to last through the show, I hope this doesn't get worse for tomorrow. Okay, so NVIDIA, NVIDIA, <laughs> not no video. Nvidia. 
974.00, round number high, all-time high on the 8th of March. So been pulling back sideways more than anything else. Using time, remember, time is very much an ingredient of the market as prices, and it's used up time. Just to consolidate, going sideways, made a peak F in the weekly chart. Leg C, uh, it's a, uh, that means it should still go to 2024, looking out. So that's very good action. And let's just look at ABGO. Is that up today? Yeah, it's up 1.7, 1,340. It's just kind of stalling since it's 14, 13.00. Round number, all time high. I'm not believable how many times that's happened. That was up uh, 67 from the right. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So using the analogy of time, the move that we saw Thursday, that really big move, and it just kept going down. I, I've made a big deal over the last six months, I think it is. Yep, said so that. For the S&P, for us to really get a sell signal that gets immediately upgraded to a sell mode and for the general market to pull back, you've got to have those S&P futures down 48 to 52 points. S the, the Dow down maybe 380 to 420, and then the market tries to rally, fails, and takes it out, takes out the low out of the day and closes the low. The next day, the same thing happens. That's a bare face. This is not. I mean, in fact, when you think of today, 
this is just normal action. Look, the Dow's up 62. s and P's up, ho, oh, hum, ho, oh, hum. Just very nice uh, action. So I don't want to fight that. And what I am saying is that there are, there are buys. And we, we under the radar, we've got certain stocks that are doing very well. Uh, I wouldn't call it our Microsoft under the radar, but that's holding very nicely when you consider it's had a big move up and it's been consolidating for about a month and a half. Now let's look at, so the question came, I don't know if it's a question, but in the dare, in the Tiger YouTube OXY, which is Oxy, Oxy Petroleum, a trading uh, almost at its um, most recent high. Um, the all-time high is up in the 78-ish area and it's trading right now at 68, looking very good. Look at ExxonMobil, ExxonMobil, same thing. Almost, uh, this is all, and almost, yeah, it's within points of an all-time high, 121.63. Look at, uh, someone, what was the other one I was looking at? Uh, oh, CVX, CVX. Is, uh, this, these are multinational oil companies, Chevron. Uh, doing quite nicely, not as good as the others, but doing very well. So I'm saying to you that I'm watching very closely for crude oil, because if crude oil starts to actually break into the uh, uh, 90 area, that's just something we haven't seen for a long time, since uh, 2023. Back yeah. That whole thing. Oh, it's time. So I'm going to hand you over to Steve Rhodes, great program today. Check out Hope Paul. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. Well, this is fine. Yeah.